city manager, however business is being done, could I get a copy of those two ordinances in my mailbox? Yes, you can. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. And, and, the, and the, the reason and, that it's and, really being postponed, it wasn't from the emergency manager or <clears throat> Mr. Bade. One is the clerk has been working on this ordinance with the attorney's office. And two, one of the committees that I'm going to appoint tonight is legislative. And I wanted that legislative committee to be involved in review not only this ordinances, but other ordinances in the future. So, And that was my second half of the question, who's been working on it. So you answered that. I have no further questions or concern on the discussion. Thank you. I'll roll, Madam Clerk. Ms. Poplar? Yes. Mr. Nolan? Yes. Mr. Freeman? Yes. Ms. Mr. Davis? Yes. Mr. Neely? Yes, for postponement. Ms. Galloway? Yes. Ms. Van Buren? Yes. Mr. Kincaid? Yes. Mr. Mays? Yes, the postponed. The vote is nine yes, zero no. Okay, that concludes any action um, that the City Council needs to take this evening. I would like to appoint um, a number of committees Mr. Because, President. because we are not um, having regular um, bi weekly meetings prior to the Council meeting right now. But I think it's important that there are some areas in the city of Flint. I've, I've had this discussion with the clerk and the emergency manager and the vice president that I think council members need to start to get involved with various departments and start looking at a lot of the concerns that the residents have in the city of Flint and about the direction that the city's going, whether or not we have formal committee meetings or not. So, Mr. President. Mr. Mays, please. I'm you finna make some appointments, aren't you? I'm sorry? You finna try to make some appointments, correct? I'm going to make them. Okay, but I'm then... I'm explaining it. Yeah. No, I, no, I, no, I didn't interrupt you. Please. If you, Please. Let's see where you're headed with this, okay. because I know what the so, rules say. So I've, I'm, I'm going to appoint a public safety committee, and on that public safety... Point of order, Mr. President. Point of order. Mr. Mason, I'm not going to no, well, you, you can act like you don't know Robert's you. rules, but I let me say this. You. Let no. me say this. This is not an eruption. The, the rules say that you can make the appointments or the council can. And if you understand the rules of the council, it says that you can make the appointments or the council can. So if I made a motion, are you shaking your head, Josh? If I made a motion and I said that I wanted the council to be involved in these appointments, I can guarantee you, I think it's rule 4.1. Now I got my rules here at the city council. And remember, I'm asking the whole time what is in play. Now, Josh, I've seen you shaking your head. But that's why I said point of order, because once you make those appointments, I can't even talk about this. I can assure you that the rules of the city council say you can make the appointments or the council can make the appointments. So through you to the city attorney, and I'm going to probably back up and let you make them, but just for the record, because I hate when you try to make me look stupid. I'm not making you look Well, stupid. ask the city attorney what it says and read it. I bet you I can tell you what it says. You know what it says? You want me to read it? I no, got mine. I don't. Because it do say that you can make the appointments or the city council can make them. So if I had put a motion on the floor and said I wanted the city council to make them and it was seconded and passed, you wouldn't be making them. Now, anybody can check this after the fact, but I'm going to caution you. I hope that's the last time you try to make me look stupid because I know these rules without even looking at them. God bless you. I'm going to make these appointments, um, and I'm going to appoint a public safety committee. And on that public safe safety committee, I'd like Vicki Van Buren to chair that public safety committee because of her experience in the past working with Office on Neighborhoods, crime watches, setting up uh, foot patrol in the communities and, and working that way. I also want Jackie Poplar to serve on that committee and Josh Freeman because of the finances and the special millages that we have to fund these programs. The next committee that I want to appoint is the Finance Committee. I'm going to appoint Josh Freeman as the chairperson of that Finance Committee. I'm going to appoint Councilman Davis to that committee. 
And I'm also going to appoint Councilwoman Galloway to that committee. I'm going to appoint a legislative committee. I'm going to appoint Councilman Neely as chair of that committee. I'm going to appoint Councilman Mays and myself to that committee. I didn't appoint Councilman Nolden to any specific committees. Councilman Nolden has been asked to serve on the Blue Ribbon Committee and represent the City Council, and so he has accepted that, and so that will be another responsibility that he has on top of being um, Vice President of the City Council. So those are the committees, those are the appointments, and I would expect as these committees form and start to interact with those various departments that they're assigned to, that they will report back to us in any future <clears throat> ordinances that need to be adopted or changes to the budget or working on the budget or public safety, um, any issues like that that would require city council, I would ask those members of the body of that committee to interact with council members so that we're all working together. So that's the reason that I've done this. This is different than the way we've done them in the past. Um, in the past, we've had uh, committees that met in the committee room, and we allowed department heads to come in and talk to us. This way, I'm appointing council members so that they'll be reaching out to the department heads and work, working more intricately with those departments to make sure that the residents and the concerns of this community are addressed. And so um, we're going to do it this way. If it doesn't work and someone else gets uh, elected council president another year, then they can make a change. But under the council rules, I'm making these appointments, and uh, I, I wish you all well. And if you need any support or help from me, um, I will be there to help you. So thank you very much. And Mr. There. What, one thing, I, I want to read uh, briefly, I want to resend a referral. If that's okay? Yes. Yeah, I want to re resend a referral through uh, emergency manager early to the legal department. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about uh, the, the dog problem in our city uh, for the, maybe the last several months, and we only meet once a month, so I want to make sure we expedite this. I do want to recognize two individuals that are standing in the back of the room. Phil and Richard, can you guys just raise your hand? They're from the animal rights organization. Richard is a, also an attorney that represents uh, animal rights, and we have negotiated the terms of a good agreement so we can better govern uh, bad dog owners inside the city of Flint. Uh, this ordinance is going to be something new and something unique to make sure that we um, have owner responsibility for bad dog owners. Uh, we had a lot of dog attacks in our community. I don't blame the canines so much as I blame the owners of those canines, and I want to hold them more accountable for their actions or, or lack of actions as they uh, have these animals. We had several kids attacked, we had postal workers attacked, we have other civil per people attacked. Uh, in my communication with the emergency manager, uh, I have not had uh, opportunity to really discuss it in detail with the city attorney, but uh, the referral that I sent before, it got miscommunicated that I was looking for a civil ordinance. We already currently have that, but I want a criminal ordinance and it to be an owner responsibility ordinance, and that's what we're gonna be championing, and also in partnership uh, with the animal rights activists we're going to be putting that together, and hopefully we can really expedite this to make sure that no postal worker, that no child, that no resident of the city of Flint will be held victim to an animal that's not controlled by an owner. Uh, and I just want to resend that referral. I hope I've made myself very clear, Janelle, we're going to criminal, not civil. I know it's, you know, we want to make sure that we, we say that and we want to expedite that. And I appreciate you staying, um, Mr. Early. I really do. Thank you. Mr. President. Thank you. Mr. President, with the new committees, like you said, I think it was Neely, myself, and you might have said yourself on the legislative committee. Can you send this referral through you to the emergency manager, to the city attorney, or whoever? But you said it's going to be different than when we used to have committees in the room where somebody would chair and it would be the committees of the whole. Now, I would be a little hypocritical if I didn't want this referral sent because the charter I know says when there's two or more, meaning three, that we have to post them committee meetings under the Open Meetings Act. So keep this in mind. If I'm going to play ball and participate in the committee of three, I want to know the legalities of it, of when we meet as three, 
do we tell the people and is it a public meeting subject to the Open Meetings Act? Now, believe me, once again, I know what the charter say. It say two or more. Two or more counts to three. And I'm not going to be a part of it if it ain't open to the public as we discuss city business unless y'all can convince me of that. So that's a referral if you follow what I ask. I wouldn't have appointed three members to a body if I felt that it violated the Open Meetings Act. So it does. I just want to uh, assure my colleagues that I would not do that and that these meetings, um, when you interact with the department heads, will not be open to the public. It will be a responsibility for you, committee members, to work and come back and, and share that information. Mr. President, President, maybe you misunderstood what I said. I didn't the, 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 the charter says two or more, and then what the Open Meetings Act and what the law says is that we know that the Open Meetings Act is a quorum. But if you read the law close, because we got all of it in this big book we got over at the Technology Center. See, the charter is superseded by certain things. But if the charter don't conflict with that law, and that's why I didn't ask you, I asked that you send it out for research to the proper department because I can assure you right now the charter says two or more. That counts to three. So you say what you want, but I'll stay within the law until y'all show me differently because right now I'm challenging y'all on y'all secret behind closed door meetings. Thank you. I won't be a part of it. Thank you. This meeting is adjourned.